Hey you guys, welcome back to FVSD Life. My name is Brownwin and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also I've been you started using Instagram and Twitter which I'll attach down below. As you can tell I'm somewhere completely different today. I'm in my bedroom and yeah, so today's video I will be talking to you about my journey with my brain and the diagnosis that, that I've received. So starting from when I was a little girl, I would find it really difficult to be interested and focus on what was going on around me and I would sort of zone out really. As I got older, my mum got more and more concerned because well she noticed it really well of course she noticed it. it's my mum um she found it more but she noticed it and she would have to repeat things over and over and over again and she would do she would the way she would describe it is I would be away with the fairies and what that means is I I was in the same room as her, but my brain was in on a completely different planet. It wasn't even there. And so when she tried to bring me, I don't know, bring me back into the room, she would tap me on the shoulder. She'd shake me, well, she'd gently shake me. She'd say my name. She would, like, click her fingers. She'd do anything, but I just wouldn't go back and I just wouldn't respond, really. And... So, my mum, she was really concerned about this, and so, but she had an appointment, no, it was a meeting, she had a meeting with Senko at my primary school, and they, she told them about her concerns, and they recognised it immediately, because, what well, they'd been seeing it too, during class, which surprised my mum, really, but... Yeah, so, and they said that they thought that I wasn't listening. And so they began to explore if I was having what we now call blank out spells. And so they would try to talk to me. They would lightly squeeze my shoulder. They would tap me on the arm. And th these are things that they would just do when they were walking past me. And sometimes I did have someone sitting next to me just like, saying my name and just trying to bring me back. And, yeah, and I've got a little bit of a glare happening. It's fine. And, yeah, so sometimes I would respond, but sometimes I wouldn't. I, but well, more often than not, I wouldn't. And so this was, they were be becoming even more worried because the blanking out spells were lasting even longer. And they even recorded the longest blanking out spell to be half an hour, which really did concern my mum. So she immediately flagged it with the ped pediatrician. And they, well, he said, no, she's absolutely fine. Don't worry. And... My mum, she, thankfully, she had Senko on her side. She had the teachers on her side. And she also had the report that they wrote out where it actually said that was having blank out spells. And so she went there with all this stuff. And so a paediatrician said, fine, okay, I'll forward her to the paediatric neurologist. And so I'm going to be brutally honest. Me and my mum, we didn't really like him. He automatically assumed that I had epilepsy. And, yeah, so this this surprised us both, really, because he, he didn't even do any tests. He didn't investigate me having epilepsy. He didn't even ask my mum why she had epilepsy, because if he did ask her, he would have found out it was because of brain damage during birth and he yeah I I was stunned too because 
like I, I've seen my mum have seizures. I know what epilepsy is and I just didn't think I had it, you know, and so it's yeah and uh, it was just shocking. And so he he and the other neurologist in the same room with him they both wanted me to start taking anti-epileptic medication and they first suggested that I took sodium valproate which still remembering it just I was more stunned than anything I was shocked I was just I I, I couldn't believe what I did what he just said and my mum she was fuming from the get-go she was absolutely angry I really thought that she was gonna jump over the desk and go at him like a mad dog and honestly my mum was absolutely oh my god I've never seen her so angry and so he and the lady they kept insisting that sodium valproate is the best thing for her it really is and my mum she was like what she said my daughter has so fetal valproate syndrome and I strongly believe she has more than enough sodium valproate coursing through her veins and honestly the male neurologist who was sat at the computer and he could not look at her in the eye so he was just sat there with his eyes glued on the screen tapping a few keys but the woman the female neurologist, she wasn't having it. She was like, no, 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 no. Sodium valproate is the best thing for your daughter. It's the best, it's the best anti-epileptic medication on the market. And honestly, I don't know. I can't really remember why it suddenly stopped. Like, I, I think, well, she agreed with my, my mum after a while, you know. And so it was, yeah, I was just the hell and yeah I mean God, that was so horrific but eventually they both the neurologists agreed okay fine what else to give her then and the male neurologist recommended lamotrigine and so I I didn't really want to take any anti-epileptic medication anyway but I still said yes just to just to show them that me taking this medication, I was absolutely fine. That was, you know, I, I knew it wasn't going to help at all. And to be honest, the Lamotrigine made things worse for me. I felt floaty. I felt foggy. I felt like the blanket spells got worse. I, I, when I was little, I never noticed I did the blanket out spells. But as I got older, I did notice that I did them. Um, but I think it's because of the machine and I honestly and I spoke to my mum it's like is this normal are you supposed to feel this way when you're taking medication and she said no you're not actually and so we spoke to the paediatric neurologist about this and he said no she's absolutely fine it's in the blood like on a blood test it says she's absolutely fine and um I don't know if it's with all medication or with all anti epileptic medication, but I remember specifically with the Lamotrigine, team, but no. I just remember they kept taking my bloods just for him, for him to have a look at, and he thought that what it said on the bloods, that I was absolutely fine, so we went along with what it said on the bloods. And so, yeah, that's what was going on. But when I turned 18, that's when I was forwarded to the Novology team for adults. And I'm going to tie it up right there. And I will leave part two for next week. And I really look forward to it, actually. And I hope to see you all then. So I'll see you all next week. Bye.